Okay, here it is, Azelaic Acid Base Gel Cream Cleanser. Some of you have been asking to me to work with Azelaic Acid and I hear you and actually it's not easy, find, easy to find ingredient. I have to look, go and order from a website that is based in Europe and also um, there's also a couple of them maybe in the US as well but I could not find any in the UK which is shame but it's alright. I managed to get my hands on it and I've been working on it. So um, I will provide a link down where I got the Azelaic Acid. If you're in the UK, you can order it. They ship it to the UK as well. Um, and I first, I didn't really pay attention too much to Azelaic Acid. I know some brands made it very popular, but then looking into it, I understand why it's not as popular. Apparently it's very good for clearing the skin, also to keeping the radiant, you know, skin radiant, and also it's very good for post acne marks, and there are other multiple benefits to it. Don't forget though, this azelaic acid has actually have low pH, and it is in the acid category, and you have to keep the pH low between 3.5 to 4. If you neutralize it to 5 to 5.5, azelaic acid is not gonna work, you'll just, you know, it's gonna be neutralized. So you need to keep the azelaic acid in the low pH range. So I've been working on this gel cream cleanser that actually have a few notes before we start formulating this. First of all, because this is going to be a low pH formulation, you need to have an emulsifier that can actually stand the low pH. For example, the likes of Oliva 1000 or Vegetal and things like that, box emulsifiers. I find that they don't actually stand very well or they become unstabilized if you go less than 4 or around 4 pH because their pH is actually active after 4.5 towards 5. So you need to check the emulsifiers that you're going to use. Another way to incorporate azelaic acid is because it's uh, sort of water soluble, it's not really water soluble, but I'm gonna explain the whole that solubility. I'm gonna show you in the part of the video where how, how it gets soluble. So you can also make a gel serum with this using my previous from previous video where I show you how to, I teach you how to make a gel serum. But don't forget, you have to keep the pH at the low, low part of it. So do not neutralize it to five because you're not gonna have an acidic, uh, you're not gonna have an effective azelaic acid. So the things that you need to look out for the azelaic acid is, as you know, is not water soluble. So you need to use a glycol base, which is like a glycerin or pentylene glycol or propylene glycol, things like that to dissolve azelaic acid. Also, it also can be dissolved in, pro, in propenidiol, which I'm going to use today. Um, I haven't done the glycerin base, but you can try the glycerin. But I read it that propenidiol is a little bit more effective in dissolving azelaic acid. So today I'm going to show you how to dissolve it. And I also wanted to make this product because I think it'll be a nice incorporation of something acidic to clean your clean your face, but also have a radiant complexion after cleaning. So it's a two-in-one cream gel cleanser. Anyway, without a further ado, let's start doing this beautiful 10% azelaic acid cream gel cleanser. Okay, so this is going to be relatively easy, but if you're not familiar with um, the ingredients, you might find it a little bit difficult. So here is the formula as they on the on the screen. So first we're going to dissolve azelaic acid. And here's the azelaic acid. It looks a, like a white powder. As you can see, so I'm gonna add 10 gram of azelaic acid. Next is propanediol. So I'm gonna dissolve azelaic acid in propanediol. So this is now going to mix, but it's gonna look very uh, different mix. So you can see it's become like a glue-like taste uh, paste texture. It's very sticky. Uh, so what I'm going to now, I'm gonna show you how to dissolve it because you need to heat this now. As you can see right now, it looks very like pasty, but as soon as I start putting it into the water, you can see it starts melting now. So I'm gonna time lapse this so that you can see it fully melts. So. As you can see, it's completely melted now via azelaic acid and propanadiol. So adding heat actually helps and it just become completely uh, dissolved. And next I'm going to bring down my oil part, three grams of stearic acid. 
So the steric acid is also a very good cleanser. Uh, so it will lift up all the dirt. Next, two gram of mango butter to give us that creaminess, a emollient. So let's add three grams. Let's mix this and let's melt it. While the oil part is melting, let's finish the um, the water part. So I'm adding the eco gel emulsifier. It's here it's called bio gel, but it's what it's called. It's from Lucas Meyer. So this gel uh, maker, it's actually gel maker. It's an emulsifier thickener. It's a polymeric emulsifier, and it has a it can tolerate up to pH three, quite acidic environments, and up to ten. So that's why I'm using this. So you need to make sure in your um, emulsifier choice, make sure they are acid tolerant. Otherwise, it will be um, it'll, they become unstable. So let's add the rest of the water, which is sixty eight point five water. It's done. Uh, we can now mix this. Uh, I use my homogenizer and it's become a nice, little bit thick, like gel-like texture. So what I'm going to do now, which I'm going to show you, I'm going to heat all of them. Okay, I have everything in the pan now. So this is the oily part that melted. Okay, uh, this is the emulsifier, the uh, bio gel that is heating up. And this is the other lake that is, we, take, we keep it in melting. Otherwise, if you keep this one cool, it's gonna get crystallized. So we're just gonna heat them all together in the same, and then I'm gonna add all of them together, and then that's gonna make, where's the way? And that's where the magic is gonna happen. All warmed up. So this is the emulsifier, this is azaleic acid, and this is the oily part. So let's mix them all together and emulsify. First, I'm adding the oily part into here. Then I'm adding the azelaic acid before it crystallizes it. Let's just emulsify it as well. After emulsification, it turned and it's cooled down a little bit. As you can see, it's become a little bit creamy. Uh, it got nice creamy texture, but it's still bouncy as like a gel. So uh, you can see it from here as well. We've got nice cream like texture. Okay, let's just add our preservative. I'm not adding much because it's already acidic environment, so I'm adding 0 0.5, which is very, very low amount. And let's just measure the pH. pH is now 4.0. So as you see, it's quite acidic. So let's bottle this up and let's take the texture. Okay, as you can see, it's a nice gel, very soft, very creamy cleanser so let me demo the product okay so here we got the nice cream gel with the 10 percent azelaic acid as you can see it's very very creamy yep you can see it's very very cream like so let me put it on my face nice so what is the best way to use this product is actually is actually just to Put it on your face and then because it's a cleanser you can either wash your face or you don't need to wash your face for the azelaic acid to actually give the full effect you can just cleanse it and then leave it on your skin because it's acidic for slightly it might for some skins it might stink but i didn't get a stinging uh, sensation but because it's acidic it has to be it might a little bit stink but I, because it has oils in it it might actually counter that um, biteness or the uh, stinging feeling because you have all this nice steric acid and mango butter to counter it so it's really, really nice cream very light it's, it's super light basically it's gonna get even more thicker so but probably next day it will it will actually use full cream also after using this cream because it's quite acidic don't make forget to wear sun cream if you're going outside for the sun so that your skin doesn't get damaged because it's acidic you need to protect your skin as i mentioned in the video be careful of the emulsifier that you choose okay so the, the in the formula you can follow the formula and you can use more or less the same uh, ratios so it should give you the same if you add everything if you use the steric acid mango butter you can change the uh, oil as well and obviously as a lake acid and propane deal is very very crucial another thing is be careful with the azelaic acid. I forgot to mention, and I, I might have mentioned already, 
just keep the azelaic acid in the warm water otherwise it will crystallize so you need to make this emulsion while everything is hot and then once you emulsify everything add the azelaic acid while it's still like liquid and everything is dissolved and then you emulsify it and it's all the good so the thing is i don't know how it's going to behave in the gel like normal if you make a gel but it should behave the same in the gels but make sure you have a use a really good uh gelling agent like Zantangam or maybe use Septimax Zen especially because you need, this is going to be a little bit on the acidic side so make sure on that. So this is how you make a nice cream gel with 10% azelaic acid. And the uh, the last thing is, oh, okay. all right, the last thing is if you have usual, if you have any questions let me know in the comment section and if you have any problems with the emulsifying this or if you try having a problem with this let me know in the comments as well i'll try to help you so now that we have done with the azelaic acid i think you're all waiting for the kojic acid <laughs> so i'll try to do that with um just the kojic acid or i might use sepia white which is apparently they together so sepia white is a whitening agent super whitening agent but there's a trick to work with sepia white you need to buffer it apparently so I will try it. I know uh, that might be a little bit more expertise on that one, but hopefully I'll try not to make it too complicated for you. Anyway, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care. Bye.